The following is an ESG video brief. Hi, I'm Jason Buffington. I'm a principal analyst at ESG. And for most of my 27 year career, I watched various IT technologies and teams create a mind blowing number of copies of data throughout IT organizations of all sizes. Easily one of the biggest culprits is traditional backup and recovery which according to ESG's most recent data protection research creates an average of 10.7 copies of data. By the way, those are just the copies that we create for data protection. Those are the copies that don't get used until something else breaks. How about some copies that actually enable the business like test dev? Instead of waiting for something to go bad, how about we proactively ensure that our new applications will work or our patches won't impact production? That seems like a good thing, right? But at least when the backup folks make their copies, the storage impact is often hidden, so we don't realize how much sprawl there really is. When test dev folks need a copy of the data, they have to ask IT or the application platform owner, and then one of a couple of very inefficient things happen. Maybe, days later, storage is provisioned and a copy of the data is weaned off to be accessed by the test dev folks. Or, the test dev folks get clever and pull their own copy since they know the app, and then they store that copy on the only storage they have access to, which is expensive primary storage. Or rogue storage that IT doesn't even know exists. Not sure which one of those is worse. The business wants test dev to be effective because their efforts will either accelerate a new enabling platform or mitigate a business impacting crisis. Either way, IT's normal mode of data management doesn't work for folks like TestDev to do what they need to do. The problem we're talking about here is termed by many in the industry as copy data management or sometimes just copy sprawl. Copy data management is as simple as my personal lifestyle exceeds my household budget. When my lifestyle exceeds my budget, I have two options. I can reduce my lifestyle by not eating out as much, not driving as nice or new a car. And in IT terms, that'd be like not ensuring data protection or preservation or test dev enablement or basically doing less. But I can't do less because the business is expecting more from IT than ever before. My other option is to increase my revenue so that I can pay for my lifestyle. And in IT terms, that means getting more value out of my data and my infrastructure that it resides on. How about adding a little orchestration or some storage functionality so the test dev can get what it needs from the backup data set? And while we're at it, how about running analytics or reporting to mine that data for more value? Those are just a few of the extra things that you can do with a well-managed data, and that starts with a modern approach for copy data management and an infrastructure that enables new data access scenarios. Some vendors are addressing this through whole new solutions, while other vendors are augmenting their data protection solutions with a data management framework. Regardless of the tools that you use, copy data management should almost assuredly be part of your discussion when you consider how to continually modernize your IT strategy and your solution architecture. There have been some compelling new solutions enter or arguably create the category of copy data management solutions that are in market today. One of the new entrants is Veritas Velocity. With two decades of backup and restore experience through NetBackup and nearly as long in archival or long-term retention through Enterprise Vault, don't forget how they redefined agile storage through Veritas Storage Foundations or how they delivered an availability solution that spans a broad heterogeneous enterprise platforms through Veritas Cluster Services. Now, VSF and VCS are together within InfoScale, but my point is that Veritas is a company that understands how to rethink underlying infrastructure and innovate in new ways that are often truly industry impacting. One of Veritas's more recent introductions to market was Veritas Copilot for Net Backup, which is purpose built for Oracle DBAs. The next potential industry changer is Veritas Velocity, which addresses the copy data management problem by enabling scenarios like test dev and analytics access to reliable and centrally managed storage. Veritas Velocity is currently in an early preview program, but expected to ship later in 2016. In a broader multi-year vision, 
Veritas wants to address a broader range of data management scenarios with a broader range of business critical platforms beyond just databases. But as their initial foray, they've listened to their customers and are building what the customers are asking for, which by the way gives Veritas more time to learn and innovate for the long haul, and focusing this release on test dev enablement. Veritas has a unique perspective on copy data management enablement that when combined with their long pedigree of IT innovation could be really interesting to watch. Time will tell what kind of velocity Veritas will have as the year progresses. I'm Jason Buffington for ESG. Thanks for watching.